Alright, yes, it's just another video about the receivers of Moniton nearly all my chassis and uh, as you can see this is a uh, Futabus R334 SPS receiver it was come with this transmitter and uh, this is Futabus T4PM and I tried to use these two gadgets, one is Footbus GYD 550, and uh, the other one um, is only compatible with this gyro is HPAS CT700 on um, another chassis and a uh, very high end one, as you can guess, probably the MST one. And uh, I found a problem if I want to use this 4 pm to set all the parameters, to set all the values of the GYD 550. I have to use the latest firmware, which I presume, um, which maybe uh, after 4.0, uh, you can fully set this GYD 550. And now it's probably 506 or something like that. And after I upgraded, the firmware of this is transmitter and I found it's impossible to link the GYD 550 and I just searched online and I finally found if I don't upgrade this thing if I don't upgrade the receiver you can never just link the, the transmitter with the gyro and I searched every detail on the use manual of this cheap transmitter and I found nothing how to upgrade the receiver with the transmitter so I just dropped this thing and uh, this thing is specifically made to upgrade something like an old transmitter or a receiver and uh, this is called CIU3 and uh, I just opened it it's the first time I opened this thing to treat this as another unboxing video and this, I love these casings I love these plastic casings and uh, yeah it does this thing just like a flash disk and uh, there's a plug and plug it onto your receiver. Just this. Oh, this piece of shite away. Yeah. And here is everything you get from the box. And this is subsequently made for Chinese market. So yeah. It's a proof that everything is okay and here is the user menu and I'm holding it upside down because the direction of the video is upside down and uh, here is the user menu and uh, okay let's see thank you, thank you for purchasing the CIO3 and uh, probably here yeah, is a PC maybe it only supports the PC so I probably trust my old laptop so later I'm going to plug it into my old laptop and try to use this thing to update my receiver I think the manual says you need to connect a cable one to the SBUS, SBUS 2 and the other one to another cable which will be connected to the CIU3 and uh, you need to connect another receiver battery to the the plug number four okay actually I have tried many times but it's still not working and uh, I'm going to try it again now flash once release and then continue to push down and now here you can see is uh, to the two colors green and 
Red. No. And yeah, the salt. Yeah. It should has a very very small window and then right. Uh, yeah. No writing. Probably this time. I'm going to success. And uh, I don't know. Just keep on waiting. I really hate to wait. And here it says, uh, it doesn't work. Just fuck it. Fuck this computer. And the user menu says, wait for about two minutes. But uh, there's no reaction. And uh, from the receiver, we can see it's still updating. And when it's completed, it's gonna show the steady green light, but it's still flashing. And I'm pretty sure more than two minutes has been passed, and it says, don't turn off the power. Thank God, probably it's just a problem of the computer. And now it shows the update is succeeded and uh, the steady green light is shown so it has been updated to the firmware 5.0 okay, now i have ready reattached all the plugs and let's see if i can connect the gyro with the chief transmitter now, now I turn on the transmitter, and uh, now it's just small select the right one. Yeah, this one. Okay, after this long beep, hi. Let's turn this on. It's a little noisy. And then uh, you see that you can say it's working. Okay, now let's concentrate on this thing. And yeah, it's very hard for you to see that. I think it's better for me to hold the uh, mobile phone. And now uh, it's the link and press wait. Wait, wait, yeah, and now I can set all the values. And here is the instruction, probably it can help you. Yeah, I spent quite a lot of time and money for this video, and uh, I think this is going to be the only video which is in English for most of the people in the world to understand how to link. Your GYD550 with this T4PM. Thanks for watching. See you next time.